Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War. It's been quite a while since we've set foot inside of Empire War and the reason for me coming back today is a few of you sent me this brand new mod which has just been uploaded to the Steam Workshop. It's called Empire at War Expanded Fall of the Republic. Now I officially saw this trailer, or originally saw this trailer, on Eckhart Ladder's channel and uh, I was blown away by the just design of the trailer and what this mod was supposedly offering those who played it. So I of course had to come and take a look. Anyway, upon reading up more on this mod, it's actually made by the Thrawn's Revenge team. For those that don't know, Thrawn's Revenge is another mod for Empire at War. I think it's been around for many years now, before even Steam Workshop access. And that mod itself in its own right is very good. And we have played it on the channel before, you can go check it out. It's very good as it's set around Thrawn and his revenge, partially in the legends of Star Wars. Well, this mod's a bit set in the Clone Wars. Uh, it's obviously all set in the Clone Wars. You can see Acclimators in front of us here, Venators, the CIS. And you've also got a few of the legend stuff as well there. It's looking quite cool, we're going to jump into Skirmish today, check out some of the Republic side, and see what units they have to offer. So, let's go. Alright, to single player, Skirmish Battles, now, mod maps we need to use. What have we got? Illum Eliminated, Illuminated, Lagoon, Shameless Ads. <laughs> so, one of the developers is called Koi Losers, you can check it out his YouTube channel, he's a really cool guy. But I love that, <laughs> that is a great idea. <laughs> Smuggler's Ring, um, Second Assault, what maps do we have? Void, Core World, why don't we do um, Geno's in Conflict? That looks like a good idea. Right, I'm going to play Galactic Republic. We'll stick the AI on Easy AI, as I know Fawn's Avenge, their AI is rather OTT sometimes, in a good way. So we'll let that go. Now, Confederacy, they can be that color. All right, in three, two, one, start. All right, we're here inside the map. What have we got? So this is the uh, Junos in Conflict. A lot of stuff to do. Well, let's get our mining stuff underway first. That's kind of what we need to do. We're going to need a couple of fighters as well. Let's get um, these ones operational. Could probably do with a couple of uh, frigates. Gunships or blockade runners. Vehicle or corvettes. Let's get two corvettes out and about as well. As we don't anything. And then he's going to go up upgrade as well, aren't we? Lots of stuff to do. Are you not going down now? Okay, I'll send you down there myself. Come on, Em. Get a couple of arcs up. So if you do want to download this mod for yourself, the link is down below in the video description. Highly recommend you give it a go if you've got Empire War on Steam. It's available on ModDB as well, so I think even if you just got a disc version, um, you should be able to download and play this. But double check on the Steam Workshop if so. I think it's going to be quite cool. Right, we've got upgrades going on. Nice. Um, we could probably get uh, like an Arcton up running. Do we want one or...? What's the Pelter offer? This is a Pelter frigate, the medical one. A combat and convoy escort equipped version of a modular frigate class. Significantly better arm and support module. Oh, okay. That's similar to one that was used in Star Wars Rebels. Apparently, according to unconfirmed sources, take out a pinch of salt, uh, Star Wars Rebels is getting a sequel series, which is coming along soon. Uh, no idea if that's true or not, but I guess we'll see at some point. And shit's hit the fan already. Right, time to go to war. Right, I want these arcs to claim some stuff up here. There's also that station there. Uh, let's do some upgrades if we can. There we go. Those fighters should be able to handle themselves down there. But I'll keep these fighters retained here for a minute, just so we've got like an extra space to defend. As I have a feeling we're probably going to need quite a few units. The AI in here, I played a little test version of this game before I actually came in. The AI is rather OTT, should we say. And they kind of like, you know, handed me my ass in like 20 minutes, I'd say. So we've got to get our ass in gear here and hopefully win this. Because if we don't... It's going to be rather embarrassing. Oh, I hear... Have they got a munificent? Where did they get that from? They've got... Oh, they're Stand frigates. By. That is so mean. Right, let's get some bombers up and, up and running. Uh, we've got acclimators available. Let, let me get a Y-wing or two. Or an arc could be a good idea. Right, I want to get a defense squadron up here as well. Oh, they're going to deal some damage to that outpost. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Right, come on, let's go. Now, what's quite good about this mod, as I've noticed, they're using a lot of assets from other Star Wars video games that have come before, which is quite nice. Uh, I presume you're allowed to do it. But basically, you can hear um, voice lines from Star Wars Battlefront 2. There's a few stuff from Republic Commando. There's quite a variety of stuff going on here. So, you know, it's, it's really cool. Right, we've just lost that as well. That's not good. Upgrade in progress. Vehicle in production. 
Hopefully we're not going to lose that. Those frigates are really annoying. Like, they just took it on mine in no time. I need a couple of fighters deploying up here. What is it, sir? Staying on target. Tie squadron here. Reinforcements count. Tie squadrons. They're V-wings. I don't know why they're called Tie squadrons, though. Enemies incoming. Oh, we need like a frigate or something, but our credit generation isn't too good. Um, let's see. Let's get the Acclimator Mark II up. Our fighters should be able to hold this area for the time being. Any chance we can get one down here? Get that one back there. There's still techno union ships in the area. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in the area. <laughs> Don't think we'll be doing good anytime soon. Right, I'm gonna drop an acclimator up here and hopefully control this area. Right, there we go. That thing just got toast. Nice. Okay, just got toast. I don't know what word that was, but you get the gist. Right, we need like another unit down here. Let's get our Corvette and take up those vices. Hopefully we can maintain our mines, you know, because if we lose them, then we're not going to be around here for much longer. Go and deal with that if we can. Right, what do we got? We could do with another acclimator. There we go. Let's get that one. If we're slow and control the area, we'll probably win this, but uh, I don't know. The AI in Thorns Avenge usually likes to beat me in like... One shot, so <laughs> this could be a bit of a desperate one. I'm gonna have to see. Get over there and stop them. There you go, acclimators are gonna own that thing. Nice. Enemy starfighters. I don't even know what this is. Merchant space dock. Provides unique units at discounted prices. Insect frigate, I've patrol craft. Oh, we're gonna provide crap. I don't know. Let's see if we can capture of some sorts and see what it provides. Got a vulture on your tail. Uh, we could do with assault variant, couldn't we? Let's try it. Could be helpful with these munificent class, which keep popping in out of nowhere. Yeah, the incoming transmission says we're effed. Right, let's capture this uh, area up here. Now I could do with a couple more frigates. Let's get the next tech upgrade if possible. I just felt something warp in. Oh, what is that? What are they? Those are Gazantes? Overcharge our weapons. I have a feeling we're going to need some more fighter reinforcements going up there, so let's get a couple of arcs. We'll deploy them up there to uh, a few upgrades. Oh, we've got, um, is this Tri Fighters? Not TIE Fighters. Tri Fighters. I need to update myself on all the Star Wars terminology again. It's like been ages since I've, you know, um, done Star Wars stuff. Right, arcs are inbound. Got to keep an eye out for where those things come around. So those lasers, okay. More arc fighters. Send these guys in. Let's see if we can deal some damage. We do have access to the extra mines now, so we are off to a good start. Maybe the AI was like too slow and easy. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Uh, I could do with getting a carrier ver variant. Here we go. Ah, claiming a carrier. We'll build another one of those. My plan is to send over and capture this mine area. But I wonder, can we quickly capture... Let's get these two and just send them over here a minute. See if we can capture like another mine area. The more of these we capture, the better. Signal coming through. It says we're effed. What are you, what are you doing over here? What's the, why is the, why is my Corvette ended up over here? How did it get there? What? Okay, that's new. The Corvette we originally had, which I thought we lost, was actually over here the whole time. All right, I guess that works. Are these? I don't know what fighters these are. Let's quickly pause a minute. What are these things? They look like those. Those are mine. V nineteens. There's a fighter craft here, but I can't tell what it is exactly. Oh, here it is. Voltstroid Mark 1. Oh, okay, there must be different classes of Voltstroid. Right, we'll capture another mine here. This one's owned by someone else, okay, so we'll just be patient with that for a minute. I could definitely do some more fighter reinforcements up here. Did I lose, lose both arc fighters? Oh, no, they are here. Right, 
We'll see if we can send some more fire reinforcements up there soon. Oh, that's their space base there. No wonder they've got like close range. That's their star base. Oh dear. Retreat back. <laughs> Do not go over there. Let's follow these fighters over here. Right, we'll warp in this new one, or a hyperspace in at least, and I'm going to send him to the top right a minute because we can capture an area there. See, I would have set the AI to normal, but I did that for my test game and they wiped the floor of me immediately. So, you know, I left them to here, so I don't know, maybe... Maybe they'll be a bit more relaxed. Was it something I said? Yes, it was. Oh, those hyena bombers are destroying us there. All right, I could do with a couple of Venators. Let's get some of these guys in band. So our other options is an, Imper an Imperiator Star Destroyer. Uh, okay, and then we've also got the Tector Star Destroyer. Then we've got the Secutor. And I think this is the Praetor 1 Battlecruiser, a large battleship produced before the Clone Wars to be flaunted by wealthy sectors and planets. Okay. Um, wartime conditions sort of upgraded out of necessary, necessary. Okay, all right. And this is Invincible Class Dreadnought. Eh, all right, I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. And then we've got Victory Star Destroyers. All right. We've got a good amount of stuff we can play with, so we'll, we'll keep here for a minute. One shot, one kill. So I'm going to start parking my Venators just over here, as uh, I don't want to, like, get rid of them instantly. But uh, we could really do a Tector, couldn't we? We'll build a tech to start destroy as well. We got enough credits for a minute to allow us to build a, a good sized fleet, so. Wow. The Venator model in this is really high definition. Like, hats off to all the modelers, designers, and the entire team behind this mod, because it does look fantastic. I mean, look at that. That is one of the best looking Venator models I have ever seen in Empire War. And I've been playing with mods of Empire War for, like, what, since. When did I pick up this game? Probably 2010, 2011. Empire War's been out for a while. I wish they'd do like a remastered version of Empire War. It'd be fantastic if they did. Like EA, please. <laughs> you know it's not going to happen, but... Right, we've got our fleet coming in. Alright, if we do another video on this with CIS, we're going to have to, you know, um, do it normal. See if what Republic throwed us. I notice we've not got any hero units. Whether I didn't enable them or not in the mod yet, I don't know. Um, so this is... this. Da, 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 da. I've not got any news about this. Uh, Fall of Republic converts Star Wars Empire War of the Clone Wars with new factions, units, mechanics, and heroes. So it's currently in development, this mod is, and it's going to have like monthly updates, I believe. You can follow them on a Discord or mod page. I'll link a mod page down below and you can choose choose to join their Discord, etc. Oh, hello. We've got fires coming in. We should be able to handle that. So, um... This, I think Galactic Conquest is where this does it. In Empire War Expanded, the traditional Empire War tech level is traded for an error-based system that impacts different story events, factions, unit rosters, and heroes are available. The galaxy is set up to recreate various conflicts within the Star Wars Legends lore. There's also new government mechanics where you can interact with other sub-factions and story events in ways, along with a planetary loyalty system, given extra income. Okay, so I think the... Um, the Galactic Conquest version of this would do quite well. Well, if you guys would like to see, uh, maybe we can do like a quick Galactic Conquest game on the channel here for over a couple of episodes and see how far we can get in that. I think that could be quite fun, to be honest. Ooh, the Tector Star Destroyer, look at that. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> that looks very impressive. Um, we should build a couple... Oh, is this, this is a big one, the Praetor. We'll see if we can unveil that in a minute. There you go. We'll let them play around up there. I know what's going on. We're apparently we're still at Techno Union ships in the area. Was it something I said? Yes. Uh, let's send a scout in for a minute. Oh, there's our little escort thing. Let's go. Ooh, I'm in a big star with me today. Right, so we've got our Tech to Star Destroy here. Let's quickly get a look at this. It looks very impressive. That's a Venator. No, can we have the other one back? I want this one back. Or not. Okay. Well, we'll look at it from this angle. It looks very nice. I like it. So I guess they're just not building ships. The AI can be a bit weird sometimes, so I don't know. That thing got blasted instantly. Okay. I'm just going to stockpile my fleet for a minute, because you know at some point they're going to come for us. Ooh, should we build it? Let's build it. We'll build another Venator as well, just so we've got one. That way we should have four Venators, I think? Yeah, yeah. 
damn, that Tech to Star Destroyer, you can really like feel the size difference between what would be an Imperial Star Destroyer and a Venator there. It makes the Venator look tiny. Oh, it's not tiny, but you know, it does make it look insignificant compared to that. It does give you the strength of the Imperial Star Destroyers. Our space nice. Is under attack. Are we? Oh, Hyena Bombers. They're coming from somewhere. All crew accounted for. Right, should we unveil this thing? Oh my Christ. the fuck ready to update orders how is this just <laughs> right let's walk in <laughs> i love it's got the female pilot as well female captain vectoring now that's one thing you never saw in the clone wars you never saw any like female admirals in charge of venice or anything did we correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think we ever did we saw you lauren and everything oh, he wasn't a woman but, you know he was like one of the main admirals killian a few others but we never saw a female admiral it's a shame Maybe they weren't in the Republic Navy. I'm not sure, obviously the clone army, you know, was a clone of males. See, so you're not going to get a female clone. But there was no, no, like, female admirals. I don't know why. Maybe the Republic Navy didn't allow women or something? I don't know. Someone feel free to correct me. Because I'd, ex you know, I'd wonder why we don't see a female admiral. Can we just destroy their starbase, this one thing? You know, I'd expect this thing to have some sort of super weapon, given how stupid this looks on it. I mean, look at that. <laughs> It's a good model though, like when I say stupid, I just mean it's one of those, like, you know, Star Wars cliches, where it's got an oversized weapon thing again. Right, we'll roll these guys in and wipe the floor of the space base. We need you to clear the area of all enemies. Okay, target a fighter bay and intensify forward firepower. That ship does look really impressive. I still say again, the visuals of this mod, I say that when it glitches out, the visuals of this mod look amazing. Just like even the laser fire has been updated, the fighters and stuff like that, it all looks really good. Now let's just do control A. Like, I'm really impressed with this. Definitely give it a download if you get the chance. Apparently the rank on the page is 4 out of 40,000. So yeah, it's definitely a popular mod. Check it out if you can. It's very impressive. I want to see more of this. Our oh, Star Destroyer is now doing random stuff again. Okay. Right, intensify forward firepower. These vendors just look really impressive. Excuse the visual glitch. <laughs> it's Empire War, there's always going to be a glitch for something you do. This poor Starbase. The next video we do, which we're going to speak with the CIS, by the way, we'll definitely put them on um, a normal difficulty and see what they do. CIS, not CS. Doing something else here. Right, intensify forward firepower. Come on, we can take it to the station. There we go. Problem solved. Yay. All right, everyone. That was Star Wars Empire at War, Fall of the Republic. If you want to download this mod, again, the link to the download page, the Steam download page, and the mod DB page will be via the video description below. Definitely check it out. This is very impressive. One of the best looking Empire at War mods I have seen in quite a while now. Uh, obviously, we've got the Empire War remake mod as well. I feel like the Empire War modding scene, a I minute, mean, is so strong. We've got such many talented teams making this amazing stuff here. Definitely check it out and play it if you can. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments section as well. If you'd like me to see, see me maybe do like a Galactic Conquest, like a mini adventure or something, definitely let me know as well. I think that could be really cool to play with. Anyway, I'll leave you here today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and let me know if you'd like to see more Empire War videos. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching, and I'll, of course, see you next time.